Hey everybody, welcome back to Occult's Receivable. Anthony here with Teresa. Hello. And tonight we are, we're trying something a little different. We are jumping into a new game called The Infectious Madness of Dr. Decker. And I... You remembered. I did. Uh, I I know next to nothing about this game. Um, it's, uh, I, I guess we play a psychiatrist. Um, yes, and we, we are Dr. Decker. We are Dr. Decker. Um, and I guess we're going to be solving some murders as a psychiatrist, as far as I know. Um, I know very little about this, apparently, other than it's psychological horror. Um, and it's all FMVs, like it's going to be actual actors and, and whatnot. So I'm excited to see how this goes. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to do a new game. The faculty thinks I'm oh. a little loopy, like some kind of spongy Mobius strip. That's why I'm here, isn't it, Dr. Decker? I mean, you tell me. I've uh, set up an experiment. My dad is trying to hurt. Oh, d god damn! Suicide. Have you heard of it? No, if that I sounds hard, very unethical. And I know when the person's going to be asleep. I can have the dream with them. Well, let's call him God. He creates this world for his amusement, something he can play with and occasionally alter to suit his mood. Um. It feels like the <laughs> paintings are watching me. Sometimes. Is her last name Death? It takes me somewhere I, else. I missed Literally it. Literally somewhere else. God loves chaos, but something goes wrong. Man and woman involved. What was once chaotic becomes well, more order. Starts as a door-to-door -door saleswoman. Double glazing, probably. Dr. Decker. I think we both know what you dreamed about last night. Oh. Oh, oh, madam. Silhouette changing through the window. Because he thinks I'm evil. Because I can see things other people can't. This is... On the basis that... Trippy. Of ...by universe is chaos. Science can only document a perception of the chaos at any one given moment in time. I did what you is said. Is that dude like there. the British Ian Malcolm from Jurassic Park? Is he talking about chaos Everest theory? It sounded Which like means it. That at any given moment, we can choose to alter our perception of the world. Oh my god. <laughs> no matter how much chaos that would cause. Oh my god, is a velociraptor just going to jump in? Fix me. I'm telling you, it's eating people. And you're just laughing. I'm... You're insane, Doctor. Uh, I'm the insane Listen, one. You're talking about quantum you're suicide. Listening. It's your only bloody job. Oh, wow. What are I'm... we even paying you for, Dr. Decker? I don't know. I think you're paying me to just sit here and you guys kind of have your own little uh, episodes. Whatever. Doctor, you're late. I'm and after all those promises, never mind, Doctor. let's not keep the pace. Um. You're late. And after all those Doctor. promises. Doctor, you're late. Doctor, you're and late. After all those... And after all those promises, never mind. Uh, I'm I am Dr. Decker. I think that's act one. You've done it. You've Decker, solved the puzzle. You're late. And after all those promises, mm, never mind. Let's not keep the patients waiting. And if you want anything, just... Oh. Sorry. I forgot. I'm not going to be here. The police still have some questions they want to ask about, you know. And then after that, I'm no, tell me. to see Ben. He's still in shock, and I thought we'd show we cared. We do still care, don't we, Doctor? I I don't know. I'm having a hard time being invested. Uh, I hope you're all caught up on Doctor Decker's tapes. I think Mariana is in first, but I'm sure they'll all become a blur by the end of the day. I'll see you later, or tomorrow. Uh, probably Wait, tomorrow. Uh, Doctor Decker's season. tapes aren't I, Doctor Decker? Am I a different Doctor? Uh, maybe. Patient names have dots next to them. Red, keep talking to them. Amber, you're done. Continue button appears when all patients are. Amber, green, you've asked everything. Going green is optional. Okay. Patient names have dots next. Red, keep talking. Watch replays in the responses tab. Look for stars. Important conversations, optional conversations. Stars update automatically. Okay.
Yeah, we got a request to bump up my volume. Oh, I, I, I did. Oh, okay. Yeah, I saw. Thank you. Try using your patient's words. I'm Ellen. I'm 25 and I'm a nurse. Typing nurse will get a response. Okay, awesome. It is better now. Okay, good. Thank you. Thank you, Hillary. Include a yes or a no when answering patients. Use context. Say, yes, I like cats. Not yes. Going green is intentionally hard. Hints will be required. Okay. Okay. Um, this is... Oh, okay. I guess I... We're here to see Mariana. Oh, we can see any of them. I'm not sure why she's... Oh, maybe because she selected. That is Mariana. I do remember that. Okay. From the playthrough I watched a million years ago. Okay. Um, I don't think she's here yet, though. Like, click on her name. Well, let me see. I'm going to look at the notes here. Oh, okay. Verbal mirroring. A new study in psychology. Don't wave at me. I'm busy. <laughs> <laughs> a new study in psychology yesterday suggests using the same words as your patient increases trust. Use yesterday. Okay. Uh, this is just what we talked about. In, if my patients seem confused, I probably ask something they have more than one answer to. To Toto, say hello to patients, find out what's wrong with them, and see what they know about Decker. Okay, so I'm not Decker. Annotation idea. Uh, should follow up. Definitely follow this up. I'll remove or when done. Okay. Alright, so. Well, I can... Okay, so I can select whoever I want. Nathan, Mariana, Ellen. Who's Ellen? This dude's Ellen. Oh, this... Okay, this woman's Ellen. Uh, Claire. And Bryce. Who's Claire? This is Claire. And this is Bryce. Alright, I don't know. Who do you feel like talking to? Who, who do we want to deal with? Well, we can just start at the top and work our way down. Okay. Um, so do I do I type in a question? We're gonna start with Bryce. Uh, uh okay. Uh hello Bryce. Bruce I'm Bryce Hemmings. You must be the new doctor. Did you know Dr. Decker? Uh no. I did not no, Dr. Decker. He was an antagonistic psycho. Oh, well, fuck him, I guess. I hope you're not from the same school of thought. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> um, okay. Um, what should I ask? I mean, that doesn't really tell me much. Uh... Okay, question history, your notes. Um, okay. How about, um, tell me more about Dr. Decker? I didn't really like Dr. Decker, and for quite a few reasons, actually. Ooh. I'd rather talk about my own problems for now, though, if you don't mind. Yeah, you know, I don't want to... I'm not here to talk about Dr. Decker. I'm, I, yeah. I, I want to know about you. We're not here to gossip. Yeah. Uh, Yet. Mm. Um, what are your problems? Originally, I was suffering with depression. Work was piling up. I, I kept missing deadlines. I wasn't used to all the failure. I got depressed. Okay. Okay. Um, Good, buddy. Why do you feel you're a failure? How about that? Sure. Like you're a failure. Nope, there we go. Apparently I've gone a little mad. For me, I have 25 hour days. Um, uh, sir, have you been playing... Per oh. <laughs> have you been playing Persona 3? No. <laughs> um, 25 hour days at midnight each day time as you know it freezes in my world it just oh my god this is this is the dark hour from persona 3 stop. 
but I don't. I'm free to wander around and do as I please. An hour later, normal reality continues. It's the dark hour. Yeah. It's my very own midnight hour. Oh my god. Um, what are you on? <laughs> I have some. <laughs> okay. Uh, what happens during the midnight hour? Slow down, Doctor. You don't have to ask me all the questions at once. I asked you one question! Goodbye, one at a time. You're the one who needs to slow the fuck down. You've got an extra hour, dude. Um. Okay, what did I... Wait. I, I asked one question. Okay, alright, alright, alright. Uh, how about... Here we go. Tell me more about the midnight hour. I'm not sure what you're asking me. Can, can you be more specific? No! no! We can't. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Midnight hour? It's a bizarre thing. Oh my god, I can't believe that worked. <laughs> I rarely ever sleep until after midnight now, so I can appreciate the extra time. I get a lot of work done in that time. I'm completely caught up. The depression is no longer an issue. So why are you 25 here? hours is a blessing for me. But apparently, it's not real, and I'm insane for thinking it is. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah. What do you think, Doctor? Uh... <laughs> I think you should stop with the JRPGs. Uh, um... <laughs> okay, um... Ask him what he gets done. Oh yeah, that's a good one. What do you get done? I have no knowledge of that. You don't know oh, what you get done. Okay. He doesn't know what he gets done. That's fine. That sounds like insanity to me. Um. Oh, okay. How about this? Did you tell Doctor Decker about this? Oh, okay. So, oh, I should. Okay, the asterisk means I should follow up. Okay. He wants to talk about his problems. Okay, so follow up 25 hour days. We've been trying, game. It's a bizarre thing oh, wait. to know you have an extra hour every day. I rarely ever sleep until after midnight now, so I can appreciate the extra time. I get a lot of work done. Oh, that time. How, I'm um, completely caught up. How well do you sleep? The depression is no longer an issue. 25 hours is a blessing for me. But apparently, it's not real, and I'm insane for thinking it is. What do you think, Doctor? Uh, that how... little face twitch was very good. Yeah, I mean, the acting in this is superb, so far. Uh, how well do you sleep? No, sorry. Okay. Okay. Blessing? Uh... Blessing? I mean, I think we just, we need to repeat his words back at him until... Blessing? Is that oh, something okay. I should know about? You just said it, bro. Okay, let me just... Let me try with That's a normal fine. amount of... I can't help you there. Okay. Okay, um... What work do you do? Yes. I'm a grave digger, Doctor. Oh, God! And people are dying quicker than we can bury them. Uh... Ooh! What are they dying of? Sorry, I don't know anything about that. Oh, God damn it. He just digs the graves. Um... Okay... Okay, so, uh, hmm. Is Dr. Decker dead? That's meaningless to me. Alright. God, okay. calm, calm down, dude. Calm, I'm trying to... 
Mm, okay. Because I'm looking at this thing, and the asterisks mean I need to follow up more. So yes. So we've got Dr. Decker, Midnight Hour, and 25 Hour Days. Also, uh, what, what are, are your problems? problems? Um, what else do you have problems with? Oh, it's just... Okay, I guess because he kind of answered that. Oh, it's, it's like similar. Okay. Yeah. Well, let's replay. The what, we asked him what his problems are. Originally, so I was suffering with depression. Ask him about his depression. Work was piling up. I got work missing is deadlines. Italicized. I wasn't used to all the failure. Yeah. Work and depression. I got depressed. But we know what he work, what he does. Ask right. him about his depression. Uh, so, okay, why are you depressed? You'd think being a grave digger had its perks, but it can be very stressful. I mean, I... Yeah. There's a trend going towards burial rather than cremation again. And as well as running out of space, we're running out of competent grave diggers. At least ones that can use a shovel, that is. Do, do grave diggers I'm still not use shovels? I'm anywhere near as depressed as I used to, though. Not since I got the extra hour. Okay, um... You mentioned being behind in behind on work. Yeah. You're behind on work. Oh. Okay. We've asked twenty questions. Um Oh, haven't we talked about that already? Okay. Okay. Uh, uh well we got what work do we do? How about tell me more about the midnight hour? Did I do that? Oh, I did. Let me my hour. In the extra hour, I mainly catch up with work. It's a godsend. Sometimes I play chess against myself. It relaxes and strengthens the mind all at once. Okay. Oh, I'm an intern. All right. Finally. <laughs> Maybe I'll start getting paid. Um, chess? Hillary's got a good point. When oh. did you start... Oh, yeah. To experience the extra hour. Uh, nope. Okay. Um, are you no longer depressed? Ugh. Okay. Um, well, we still need to pry about the depression. It's still got two asterisks. Yeah. Um, what else are you depressed about? Uh, okay, I can mention deadlines. What oh, deadlines? There we go. Uh, okay. Missing deadlines. All right, let me um, just, let's... You'd think being a grave digger had its perks, but it can be very stressful. There's a trend going towards burial rather than cremation again. And as well as running out of space, we're running out of competent grave diggers. At least ones that can use a shovel, that is. Oh, shovels italicized. I'm not feeling anywhere near as depressed as I used to, though. Not since I got the extra hour. Are you good with a shovel? Henley Church, where I work, is located on an old Norman Mott and Bailey. You can't use mechanical diggers or excavators there in case you destroy a relic. A relic? Ooh. What kind of relics? Or what kind of relic? I stumbled across a relic myself. An ancient chess piece. A queen, I believe. The best chess piece. The most freedom of movement. But they took it away immediately and proclaim the whole east side of Henley Church a protected site of archaeological importance, which means we're not allowed to use it until the archaeologists have finished. I wish I hadn't told anyone. Um. Okay. Huh. Okay. So he found a... Re okay, how about this? Um, do you like chess? I like chess. I still play sometimes when I can find an opponent. There's nothing more satisfying than planning scores of moves in advance and then watching things unfold as you saw them. 
I shouldn't have told anyone about the Queen. Right, okay. Um... There's still more to ask about the shovel. <laughs> What's your favorite type Shel of shovel? shovel? Oh, excellent. Nope. Nope. Um, do they still use shovels for grave digging? No. Um... Well, he talked about excavators, but they can't use that at Henley Church because of the relics. Right. What are the... Ask about the archaeologists. Yeah. I was going to say, what are the archaeologists looking for? I don't have anything for you. Damn it. So, um, oh, I got one. Did the extra hour start when you got the queen? Damn it. Damn it. Um, okay. When Maybe just... did you fi find the queen? Ugh, okay. Okay. Um, um, just, maybe just type the word archaeologists in question mark, just like a, as a prompt. Archaeologists? That doesn't mean anything to me. I don't okay. know! Um... Well, we can't see the queen. He said he had to give it up. Yeah, they um, took it away. Who, actually, who took the queen again? Let's see. Nope. Okay. Okay. Um, let's back up to Dr. Decker. Let's okay. See. Let's see. I didn't really like Dr. Decker. And for quite a few reasons, actually. I'd rather talk about my own problems for now, though, if you don't mind. Okay, let's circle back to a few reasons. A few reasons... Dr. Decker would say one thing and do another. He would push me to do things I didn't want to do. He was getting worse towards the end. I'm surprised he didn't kill himself. Okay, um, worse? I don't know. <laughs> okay. Kill uh, himself? What sorts of things would Dr. Decker make? You do. I know you're asking questions to try and get a bearing, but I'd rather not talk about that now. Let's just enjoy the getting to know you phase before the ugliness kicks in. Are you enjoying this, ugliness? sir? Doctor, <laughs> pace yourself, please. This is my session. I'm paying. Uh, uh, pace myself? Ha! What do you want me to do? Okay. All right. Whatever. All right. Um, there's still some stars by midnight hour. Yeah, that's... It's Let's a bizarre thing thing. to know you have an extra hour every day. I rarely ever sleep until after midnight now, so I can appreciate the extra time. I get a lot of work done in that time. I'm completely caught up. The depression is no longer an issue. 25 hours is a blessing for me. But apparently, it's not real, and I'm insane for thinking okay. it is. What do you think, Doctor? Do Maybe ask him who thought he's who thinks he's insane? Yeah, who thinks you are insane? I thought it would be too early to make a diagnosis. But it's good you're having a go anyway. Um. Inside? Fine. Um, let's see, uh, it's Henley Church, where oh, Henley Church. is located on an old Norman Mott and Bailey. You can't use mechanical diggers or excavators there in case you destroy a relic. Okay, tell me more about Henley Church. Henley Church is relatively small. Well, for the number of bodies they expect us to pack into the ground, it's relatively small. The whole building was once owned by Scientologists. Uh-oh. But they handed it back to the community as a tax break, I believe. Uh-oh. Or they'd finished uh -oh. doing whatever it was they wanted to do with it. Uh-oh. Um, Scientologists? 
I'm not sure I believe in any religion anymore. I used to believe in God, not anymore. There are too many religions to pick from, don't you think? I mean, yeah, that's... Um, God is a lie. <laughs> <laughs> and that brought up Scientologists, okay. Um... Okay, uh... Huh. Let me, let me take a look at the Scientologist thing here. I'm not sure I believe in any religion anymore. I used to believe in God. Not anymore. There are too many religions to pick from, don't you think? Uh, okay. Let's... Henley Church is relatively small. Well for the number of bodies they expect us to pack into the ground is relatively small. The whole building was once owned by Scientologists, but they handed it back to the community as a tax break, I believe, or they'd finished doing whatever it was they wanted to do with it. Hmm. Okay. Uh, tax break? Is that something I should know about? No, no, you, no, you clearly don't know. What? What more can I ask about your shovel, dude? <laughs> God, I know, right? Um, how many graves do you dig? Okay. Um, what else happens during the extra hour? Uh... Uh, yeah, what previous religion you believe in? Believe in? No. Nope. Scientologists. Sci Scientologists. <laughs> I love that I get to watch. That's you meaningless to me. Ugh. And to us as well. Okay. All right. Do we want to try another patient? Yeah. Okay. Let's let's talk to Claire. Hello. <laughs> Hello. My name is Claire Castleford, and as I'm paying a small fortune for these sessions, I'd expect you to be up to speed, Doctor. Wow. Um. Let's bring out my. Okay. So. Um... How can I help you? I need you to believe me. That's why I'm paying for these sessions. Everyone else thinks I'm crazy and dangerous. Everyone else thinks I've lost my mind. Dangerous? Have you lost your mind? I assume they think I'm dangerous because I stabbed my husband. Oh! All right. Hmm. That sure sounds dangerous. Only if you're her husband. <laughs> Why did you stab your husband? I don't understand what you're getting at, Doctor. Please be more specific. Um. Maybe just you uh, stabbed your husband? <laughs> you stab husband? I think we'd get along a lot better if you stuck to asking. <laughs> <laughs> husband I'm obsessed with my husband oh it's absurd really well glad you think so why did you stab why did you stab it was a brief moment of temporary insanity or temporary clarity I'm not really sure which David had been having an affair with his assistant optician Iris how predictable okay not just the affair but an optician named Iris Ha! <laughs> uh, okay. Well, I'll, I'll I'll get to the Doctor Decker thing. I'm 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 intrigued by this. I mean, she did a stab. Um. Okay. So. Uh, is your husband okay? Nope. Uh, Iris. Iris was David's assistant optician. Not anymore. 
Ooh. No, Cassie's no dead. not like that. I didn't kill her or anything. Oh. <laughs> it's just that yeah. I changed the optician into a florist after David died. Optometry was his dream, not mine. A uh, dream. Uh, what was your dream? If I knew anything about that, I'd tell you. But I don't. You don't know what your own dream was? That's so sad. Dream! I don't know. Sorry. Sad face. <laughs> <laughs> uh, florist? I think she mentioned flowers. Yes, yeah, yeah, florist. Sorry. I don't know. Wow. Okay. What do you know? David was the name, right? Did yes. Her... I think he that's what's doctor. David is my husband. Okay, yes. Your husband who you stabbed. Okay. Um, why are you obsessed? Okay. This relates to husband, all right. Well, let me just take a look at this again. I'm yeah, obsessed let's... with my Perfect. husband. It's absurd, really. Oh, absurd. absurd. Why do you think it's absurd? Wait, come back it. here. Oh, you shouldn't be. <laughs> oh. Um. Why not? I don't have anything to say about that. Uh. How, okay. Yeah. How did? Why should he not be here? Why should he not be here? He's lucky to be alive. He almost died. Cause you stabbed him. Because you stabbed him. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you stab? <laughs> I guess repeat back at her lucky to be alive. This is so much fun. This is good, yeah. My husband is not a well man. We've been having problems for a while now. Y yes, you stabbed him. I consider that a problem. <laughs> Poor Blum? problem i'm going to have to plead ignorance on that one. Oh, okay i have to type it out right it doesn't like figure out what autocorrect is assuming people can't spell problem well according to your predecessor i'm a delusional psychotic with obsessive tendencies oh and a history of violence <laughs> sounds so cold when you put it like that though doesn't it I... okay Okay, so she has... Alright, let me, let me see what that was again. Well, according to your predecessor, I'm a delusional psychotic with obsessive tendencies. Delusional, okay. And obsessive. Oh, and a history of violence. Okay. <laughs> Sounds so cold when you put it like that, though, doesn't it? Alright, let's do... Let's, let's, let's work our way through. So, delusional? Delusions. I, As yes. In seeing things that are not there. I'm not going to be any more specific. It's not true in any case. Uh, I'm not delusional. Okay. Um, obsess the obsessive word? and then history of violence. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Uh, that relates to husband. Okay. To be fair, there was only one violent outburst that hardly qualifies as a history of violence. Uh, if it happened, and it, he provoked it is, me. Oh God. Okay. Provoked. Well, he was having an affair. Provoked his provoke goes to why did you stab? Um, okay. Um, let's take a look at that again. To be fair, there was only one violent oh, outburst, outburst that hardly qualifies as a history of violence, and he provoked me. Uh, what type of outburst? Don't say a violent one. I stabbed him with a steak knife. Shocking, isn't it? Mm. Where? I don't have an answer to that. You don't know where you were when you stabbed him. Okay. Um, I don't think it relates to things she just said. So yeah. if you want to know where he was stabbed, you have to say. A steak knife? Okay. Where did you stab him? I guess that's too close to the why did you stab? 
Okay. Probably doesn't matter. Okay, uh, let's see. I stabbed him with a steak knife. Shocking, isn't it? Okay. Uh, let's go, uh, tell me about Dr. Decker. The most shocking thing about Dr. Decker's death is that he didn't bring it upon himself. Oh. But then I hadn't known him for a very long time. Perhaps I was wrong about him. Okay. The most shocking thing about Dr. Decker's death Here we go, is bring that he it didn't upon bring himself. it upon himself. But then I hadn't known him for a very long time. Perhaps I was wrong about him. Bring it upon himself. Dr. Decker just had that look about him. You know, the you know crazy what they look. say about us crazies. Takes one to know one. <laughs> crazies? Crazy Dr. Decker? Who's to say who is sane or insane? Um, we all see the world differently. Society, world really, but I mean, that's kind of getting into semantics. Uh. Let's replay when she said lucky to be alive. We still got two asterisks there. My husband is not a well man. Well man. Not a well man. We've been having okay. problems for a while now. Not a well man? His health, if you can call it that, has been deteriorating rapidly in the last few weeks. Because you stabbed him! I can't cope with caring for him anymore. Uh, caring for him? David has trouble looking after himself. Sometimes I'll leave the lake house and he's just sitting in the rocking chair on the porch. And when I return the next evening, he's still there, just staring into the stars. He needs help, I know, but I can't hire anybody to care for him. Hmm. All right, there's a lot there's a lot to unpack there. Um Yep. Let's let's see. David has trouble looking after himself. We know who David is. Sometimes I'll leave the lake house and he's just lake sitting house. in the rocking yeah. chair on the porch. And when I return the next evening, he's still there, just staring into the stars. He needs help, I know, but I can't hire anybody to care for him. <laughs> lake house? David's staying at the lake house. It belonged to my parents, but I don't use it much anymore. I have the main house to myself. Ooh. House. So oh, bougie. Uh, parents? I'm an only child, and my parents are both dead. Did Naturally, I inherited everything. <laughs> Did you stab Did you stab them? them? Two? <laughs> <laughs> okay, um... I'm not seeing any more double... Oh, here we go. Not a woman. His health, if you can call it that, has been deteriorating rapidly health. in the last few weeks. Yeah. I can't cope with caring for him anymore. Health and caring. Um, I did... Did I do hair caring? No. Yeah, caring for him is oh, a little bit. Yeah. How Maybe why can't his, you hire someone? His health. We didn't do health. Since our... Altercation. He's become less and less active. Because you stabbed him! His mind's become less and less active, too. Such a delightful conversationalist at one time. Now more of an enigmatic husk. Um, I'm gonna hey. ask about the husk thing. Hey, Claire. <laughs> hey, Claire. Hey, Claire. Are you taking care of a corpse, Claire? Oh, shit. Holy shit, maybe. David's not ready for company. I hope to take you to see him one day, and you'll see for yourself. Not ready? No, that doesn't mean anything to me. Um, me Since our altercation... When you stabbed less him. less and less active. His mind's become less and less active, too. Yeah, no, he's dead. He's Such absolutely dead. a delightful dead. conversationalist at one time. Now more I mean, she's of an obsessed. enigmatic husk. Okay. Is David dead no, really okay um I forget what green meant like there's Since like some optional things to discover maybe okay. he's become less and less active his mind's become less and less active too 
Such a delightful conversationalist at one time. Now more of an enigmatic husk. Okay. Uh, what? Uh, how did the altercation happen? I tried to hurt David once. With a knife? That's why I'm here, isn't it? I'm not proud of my behavior, but I was very angry. It was a private matter, though. The police should never have been involved. Uh, the police? The police seem to think I'm dangerous. I'm only sitting here talking to you because I have a lot of money. Otherwise, there's no doubt I'd be thrown into prison for a very long time. That's why I need your help, Doctor. Hmm. I tried to hurt David once. That's why I'm here, isn't it? I'm not proud of my behavior, but I was angry. very angry. Angry? It was a private matter, though. The police should never have been involved. Okay. Um. Why were you angry? I never used to get angry. Ever. If Better you're angry, you're not in control. Isn't that right? And it would be very bad for me to lose control. Huh. Okay. What happens when you lose control? I think she. Let's say we that know. For another time, shall we? <laughs> she stabs. But I'm not made of money, and I'm fairly sure my time is up. No. no? Oh, okay. Oh, she's excused herself. Well, okay, okay. I guess we got what we wanted out of. Let's go back to Bryce. I feel like I'm getting the handle a handle on this. Okay. Let's let's take a look at his uh, his thing. Oh, okay. Where is? You gotta scroll down to get to his stuff. Okay, here we go. Uh. Henley Church, where I work, is located on an old Norman Mott and Bailey. You can't use mechanical diggers or excavators there in case you destroy a relic. Okay, so we got the we did the relic thing. Okay, Scientologists. I'm not sure I believe in any religion anymore. I used to believe in God, not anymore. There are too many religions to pick from, don't you think? That... That doesn't... Maybe, why don't you believe in God? Did we ask that? Let's try. Why don't you believe in God? I'm not sure God would have given a man an extra hour a day. Not just a single man. My extra hour is a gift. But sometimes, Ooh. it's a curse. Ooh. A curse, you say? A, a curse, A curse? Say? <laughs> I sound like I'm complaining, don't I? <laughs> I'll stop now. No, no, no. No, please, continue. No, don't. Sorry, I don't know anything about that. Don't, don't stop. Century. Uh, oh, 100 questions asked. Yeah, okay. Must be 100 questions, yeah. Um, okay. Uh, you're not complaining. I don't know. Uh, okay. All right. So then. What else could we ask this guy? I don't think... Uh... Okay, let's just... Do you believe in curses? I don't have anything for you. Oh, God damn it! <laughs> uh... Okay, th this... I'm not sure I believe in any religion anymore. I used to believe in God. Not anymore. There are too many religions to pick from, don't you think? 